Good morning dear brothers and sisters and praise the Lord for this brand new day. God's faithfulness and mercy has given us one more day to live and glorify him. And before we begin our activities, let us give these few minutes to God and listen to his voice which is important. And uh, we are going to meditate on uh, a verse found in the 51st Psalm of David. This psalm records his repentance after sinning against Bathsheba. And uh, in this uh, 51st psalm, verse 12, he says, Restore unto me the joy of salvation. Now, there are three things that we can notice by the word, by the use of the word restore unto me. Now, the first thing that we notice is David had the joy of salvation. David had the joy of salvation. We can see it in some of his earlier Psalms. Psalm 9, 1 says, I will praise the Lord. And uh, Psalm 21, 1 says, The king shall joy in thy strength. And uh, Psalm 23, 5 says, My cup runs over. It is overflowing. And uh, of course, uh, someone's cup may run away. But David says, My cup runs over. And uh, then he, he, in one Psalms he says, I will take up the cups of salvation and praise you among the people, O Lord. And Psalm 34, 1 says, I will bless the Lord at all the time. You notice here? He had the joy of salvation. So that is one thing that we, we can make out from this use of the word restore. And the second thing we notice, we can Notice is this, the word restore also shows that at present, when he wrote this, salve, this psalm, uh, he does not have the joy. He lost the joy of salvation. He had the joy of salvation and now he lost that joy. Now, the question is, is a plea to God was, Lord, restore unto me the joy of salvation. What can restore this joy? Let us think of a few things. The company of people cannot restore the joy of the salvation. He had a lot of them around him. He had his servants, he had his uh, family, he had his counselors, ministers, and he had soldiers and army. He had a lot of people around him, but they could not restore the joy of salvation. And uh, secondly, wealth and riches cannot restore the joy of salvation. He had plenty of them, plenty of gold, plenty of silver and and uh, plenty of everything. He did not lack anything. And uh, so, my friends, I want you to know that if you are a person who is enjoying the joy of salvation, must realize that no one in this world can give you that joy except the Lord. And uh, once it is lost, nothing can restore the joy of salvation and make you happy again. The third thing we notice, his position cannot restore. He was king, leader in every sense of the word. What a privileged man he was. You may have the highest position in the world, But no one and nothing can restore the joy of salvation 
in our hearts. But then who can? The answer, my friends, is only the Lord who has given you first the joy of salvation to begin with. Only He can restore salvation. And therefore, David in repentance prayed unto God. Restore unto me the joy of salvation. So therefore, make sure that you, you protect your salvation and you do not let your salvation slip away. The joy of salvation. Make sure that you are careful in your life. And then, there is another thing we, know, we can learn. The word restore also shows his longing for the joy of salvation. Could he be satisfied with the things and the friends and the positions of authority? Many people think that these are the greatest thing in life. Oh yes, plenty of riches, plenty of friends around and, and, and the great position, the highest positions. My friends, there is these things can never give you the real, genuine joy of the Lord. Make sure, therefore, you do not trust on these things, but trust the Lord who is the source and fountain of the joy of the salvation. So no one can be satisfied in life with having a big position and a great riches and, and um, uh, many friends, influential friends, and uh, you have authority and power, you may have all these, but if you miss the joy, life is worthless. Make sure that you keep the joy. So what is the road to restoration? It is the number one, it is a road of remembrance. You remember the days when you enjoy the joy of salvation, the singing and the joy that comes and dancing and what a joy. Hallelujah. And secondly, it is a road of confession. If you really want the joy back, if anyone listening to me who has lost the joy of salvation, Take this road. Remember what a joy it was for you to have the joy of God's salvation and peace. And now the, the road you need to take is the road of confession. Confess your sin. Confess the mistake you made which caused the loss of joy of salvation. So make sure that you repent truly. Really. Many people follow David in his sin. Oh, saying, David also committed the same sin. So what is the problem? There is a problem, my friends. Those of you who say that, do they ever try to follow David in his repentance? And it is that repentance that restored to him the joy of salvation again. What you lost cannot come back to you automatically. Time will not bring it back. Only that confession, only the repentance and the coming back to God. And thirdly, it is a road of faith. Do you long for the joy of salvation? You can have it, my friends. Tread the road of remembrance. Let that remembrance inspire you to repent. And that repentance give you the faith that God is a merciful God who is willing to forgive. But without repentance, no forgiveness. So God wants you to enjoy the joy of salvation. And may the Lord bless you as you make 
take that wise decision to repent and believe the joy will be yours again holy spirit of god we need the spirit's blessings and help without the holy spirit's helping us lord we will not take the road of repentance we will not confess and we will not have the faith then to receive back what we have lost but thank you that you are a merciful god and the spirit of god is always willing to take us back provided that we truly repent and truly believe thank you amen make sure that you do it today don't sleep tonight until you repent and get the joy of the lord back amen